Hey y'all, welcome to Castle Vlogs. Uh, today's gonna be our first Shop With Us Sunday. So I have all my groceries laid out and set up. I just wanted to chit chat with you guys for a real quick bit, um, just to go over a couple of fine details so we're not getting too caught up once we get into the food. Uh, first, I do just wanna say that this is our first big haul of the month. We are gonna continue to go back to the store, of course, weekly. Um, so you will see a couple of things on here that are gonna be bulk items that we start with at the beginning of the month. So we set ourselves up on roughly a $200 budget every month for groceries. So this is gonna be the bulk majority of that pricing and then we continue to go back weekly to kind of just supplement what we have already. Um, the next thing I wanted to touch base on is this is our first shopping haul video. So I promise we'll get better, be patient with me. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how this haul is gonna work out. And the last thing I wanted to cover before we get into the food is we live in Central Texas and the best place to get groceries is our local HEB. So that's where you'll see a lot of the um, HEB like store brands. So some of these may not be name brands. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at stuff. Right, well, okay? let's get started with the food that we have. So let's get started on Cameron's side of things. Okay, so I start every day with one to two rice cakes. Pretty simple. And I also follow that with an oatmeal. Notice the rice cakes are going to be H-E-B brand. We did get a really good deal on those because they were not name brand. So keep that in mind. And I usually follow that with at least at least one of these oatmeal. This is a new flavor I'm trying, cinnamon raisin. I've never had it. But His go-to is apple cinnamon for everything. Yeah, I'm really picky. <laughs> so once I find something, I, I'm very like stubborn about it. We're very picky eaters, so if we find something we like, we stick to it. Also, I use these brown rices. Just a satiation thing, you know, if you need help with trying to stay full or longer, these work. My wife doesn't eat with me because we have totally different schedules. We're always in a meeting or at work or something. Something always going on. I'm not a very adventurous cooker, so um, he's big on to making himself meals and prepping them out for the week. I'm big on to just popping something in the microwave. So this is a good alternative for the two of us to share. Um, this microwave's fully in the, or cooks fully in the microwave. So it just steams right in there. And I think these are only a dollar a bag. Uh, they are found in the frozen vegetable aisle. So keep that in mind. It was hard for me to find the first time I looked for them, but they're actually really neat alternatives. So we got, I think, three of those bags to kind of get us through the week. Just a good um In any frozen vegetable you get, make sure the ingredients make sense. This is just water and rice. Yeah, you shouldn't buy a bag of broccoli that has six, veg six um, ingredients in it. Should you be broccoli? I also use these chicken <laughs> breasts because, again, I only cook for myself. And they're flavored. This one is savory, which is just Italian dressing. We've and got a chipotle, chipotle lime. lime. So these are individually packaged, so he can literally just cut out the one that he wants. And they are um, marinated in there. So that's really neat. They're going to be really good options to where he can basically just, um, he can just cover, he can just get, you know, the individual chicken that he needs out of it. He doesn't have to do anything crazy. Yeah, it just makes more sense for me personally, just to have it. And then what I'll do is I'll come through here and uh, I'll show you like the mushrooms. That's just a calorie dense thing for me. It's really low in calories for the amount that I can eat. And if you're like me and you struggled with weight for a long time, it's more cheese for calories is how I justify anything. I have an onion just to sweeten up some foods. Uh, I use white onions or Spanish onions, whatever you want to call These it. These here are the two foods you'll never see me eat. Um, mushrooms and onions are not on my palate. Like we said earlier, we're both very picky eaters. We know what we like, we know what we don't like. So we stay away from certain things. And um, I will say, like I mentioned before, it's just things that are just easy for him to make for just a one person dinner because there's a lot of times that he's working overnight. So he's having quote unquote dinner either when I'm in bed asleep at midnight or at <coughs> two o'clock in the afternoon when I'm at the office. So, you know, our, our meals are very, very seldomly together, but we don't always eat the same food. Also, I have Crohn's disease, so I have to eat probiotics. I take a probiotic supplement. I'm not your physician, so don't take my word for it. But if you do have Crohn's disease or IBS, try it out. See if it helps at all. Definitely. Anything mentioned here is really just what works best for us. Um, we are... We avoid the word diet like the plague. We don't use the word diet in our household. It is a bad word. Um, we don't use it simply because we feel like it's a mental thing. So when we talk about like making better choices, all we're meaning is I personally am making a better choice than I personally made yesterday. So just making a little bit of small changes and things like that, just stuff that works good for me. It doesn't have to be what works best for you. So things to just kind of try out and look at, I'm just kind of go from there. I love baby carrots. I don't eat cooked carrots at all. I don't like the flavor of them. But you have a handful of these, and maybe a little ranch, even without the ranch. It's a nice little sweetness to help you get through those hunger cravings. And then I also use these Mio drink supplements. 
Uh, these don't affect my glycemic index at all. So that's why I use them. But always check with your doctor first if you are pre-diabetic or you have diabetes before you drink any of these juice or water supplements, juice supplements, because some of them may have hidden sugars in them. Mio is great because even if you're on that keto diet, it's no carbs, no calories. It's just a really great alternative. And again, the reason we bring this stuff up is Mio is a good alternative for Cameron. He used to, at one point in time, drink, you know, several <coughs> several um, gallons of sweet tea a day with a ton of actual sugar in there. So we get the Mio because it's a better thing for him. Um, again, if it works great for you, awesome. If it doesn't, let us know. Let us know something you've tried. Maybe it's something we can try out. But we use the Mio. Um, again, this is us buying for the month. We may get a few more throughout the month, but... You know, this isn't something that he's just going to drink through like it's concentrated. Of course, he used that in water, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Next up, I have this enlightened ice cream. We found this brand probably a month ago. We had the movie theater brand. Uh, it was like popcorn and chocolate and stuff like that. It was really good. It was super weird, but it was delicious. So this is a quote-unquote good-for-you ice cream. Um, 80 calories a serving. If you're like me and eat the whole pint, it's only 320. Mm. Also, I used to have a big problem with eating tons and tons of potato chips. I would literally just sit down with a bag of them, watch television, and just go through them. So now I use these cucumbers. I'll chop them up fine, and it gives me that same crunch. It's like a mental trick. Yeah, like you put that um, that disc of cucumber into some ranch dip. Very similar. Again, you're not going to have the saltiness of a potato chip. It's not going to be exactly the same. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm just saying it's something he tried out and he liked and it worked. So it's something to definitely go off of. So next thing we're going to get into, um, as we kind of touched base on with the onions and the cucumbers, are fresh uh, fruits, vegetables, things like that. So the first thing I wanted to cover was these potatoes. Um, we got these, the huge five pound bag for like $1.68, so we found a really good deal on those. Um, again, H-E-B brand, I believe. With those potatoes, I just got some seasonings, uh, Creole seasoning. If you're going to try any kind of seasoning, it's got to be Tony Saturies, it's the best. Also, that's very low calorie. So. Yes, so it's a, I mean, it's a good healthy alternative and it's also really, it's just really good. It's very spicy though, so if you're not into big spicy foods, um, just keep that in mind. But it is something really good to try. I do recommend it to almost anybody. I would just touch on this a little bit just because I used to have a problem with water retention. If you're watching your sodium, this probably isn't the best for you. Right, it is very, like it's very salty, very spicy, but it's just something that I like to sprinkle over. You know, potatoes is something that I'm just gonna roast. It's just kind of a good like additive to it. A big thing for me is if I don't like a certain vegetable, I just don't like the flavor of it. So I'm big on that. Um, I don't have a sense of smell, so my sense of taste is very, very weak. So things like that really add spice to it. We also got this garlic pepper seasoning. Um, we have tried the Mrs. Dash before in the past. It just wasn't something that we, uh, it was just something we just didn't like. It was just a personal thing for us. Nothing wrong with the brand. It was, I mean, it was good in flavor. It just wasn't the right kind for us. So this one is a little more finely ground, has red pepper flakes and black, or I'm sorry, red bell pepper flakes and black pepper. So a little bit of other things to add to your garlic seasoning. Of course, just some cooking spray, butter flavored cooking spray and some light sour cream. Um, just kind of add on top of those potatoes after they've been roasted in the oven or something, just some light sour cream. So Now on the cooking spray, the reason why I buy this is because it has a great flavor and it also is zero calorie. Now I don't know, I always justify about five calories for everything because there's hidden stuff in there that they don't really tell you about. But instead of putting butter or heavy oils and stuff when you're trying to cook a chicken breast, go with something like this, give it a try. They do have Pam, but luckily enough, I shop at HEB and they have a cheaper alternative for me. For sure. And something else to keep in mind, like he was saying, um, again, not saying there's anything wrong with butter or oils, just saying for me personally, the spray is easier to measure out a serving size because I'm literally just spraying the coat. I'm not throwing a tablespoon of butter and hoping it all melts. And if it doesn't, then I just got butter saturated foods. So into our fresh foods. Um, fresh fruit is a big thing for both of us. Cameron has a huge sweet tooth, so he's big into sweets. Um, he really loves these because they really help with his digestive system. His digestive system reacts really badly to artificial sweeteners, so fresh fruits are great for him. Uh, we have this big bag of Bella mandarins, very similar to like a halo orange, but again, H-E-B brand. Um, the easy peel, just real quick to basically pop open and take with you. This whole bag, goodness my last is the whole month you never know um we've got some fresh bananas these are fresh uh gala apples just kind of a big bag of them i think this is a five pound bag also one like 240 so it's pretty good price and again there. all these things are just my picks because it helps with my satiation 
because if you're like me and you work nights or you used to work at nights and you have that sweet tooth hit you, it's way better for me personally, especially because diabetes runs in my family, to have the natural sugars versus the processed sugar. So try that out. So we definitely do the fresh fruits. Um, we both have a family history of diabetes and high blood pressure. So both of us have things that we have to look out for. Luckily, um, neither one of us have any of those symptoms or even pre-symptoms. So it's something we definitely get scanned for. But we have noticed that as we've been making healthier choices with our foods and our diets, we have noticed the way that our body reacts to stuff. So for example, Cameron is lactose intolerant. He also has IBS. So he's got to be careful with dairy and just, um, just rough foods in general. So he's got to be really careful about that. Me, I have a... It's difficult to explain. I have an oral allergy to something called birch pollen. So it's a cross reactivity allergy, which means that there's certain fresh fruits that if they're pollinated with this pollen, add a really bad oral reaction. It's nothing crazy or life threatening. It's just a really bad like skin reaction. So as much as I love my fresh apples and pears and oranges, it's hard for me to have those, um, not the oranges, the apples, pears, things like that. It's hard for me to have those um, without getting bad reactions. So I got a couple of limes. These are five limes for a dollar. Um, what I can do with these, I can cut them up and squeeze them over the top of my other fruits. And that way, it the lime juice helps to where I can eat those without um, having any kind of reactivity. So I also got um, one of these enlightened ice creams. So mine's 100 calories per serving, 400 for the whole pint. And mine is uh, brownies and cookie dough. So I'm pretty excited to try that one out. And then I also have some stuff for my lunches that I wanted to touch base on. So I got myself, um, I usually work through my lunches. So the fresh fruit and snackable stuff is usually easier for me to have at lunch. I got some goldfish. These are Mickey Mouse brand, um, Mickey Mouse shapes in there. So it's kind of neat. Uh, fun fact about goldfish is the serving size is like 55 crackers. So for only 140 calories, you're getting quite a bit with that. Kim really likes the rice cakes, the sweet ones for breakfast. So I got some of these like chip style ones that are sour cream and onion to try out just to see if we like them. Um, if it's something we would buy again. This is a pretty small bag. It's actually more like a snack size bag. Like you would find like Doritos at the checkout counter. Um, but I did want to get it just to kind of try them out. So then keep in mind, it is three servings in here. So um, when it says 17 pieces, one thing that I've always struggled with and I'm really trying hard to do is just taking out those 17 and having just that. So. Also, if you're picky like me and your wife is picky, you can have her try this stuff. Because if she likes it, chances are I'm probably going to like it. Definitely. So we do a lot of that. We'll do a lot of, hey, you try this and let me know how it is. Um, going back to things that were on sale, I got these candy bars because they were on sale for like a dollar a piece. Got these cookies because they're on sale for buy one get one free so i give the other package to my mom so that's the first package um and then those are just kind of like my snackable stuff and then for dinners since i'm not really great at cooking i got some of these frozen dinners uh lean cuisine healthy choice just again trying to make better choices so the first one is a lean cuisine um roasted turkey breast with savory herb dressing cinnamon apples things like that and the next one is a cafe steamer with honey glazed turkey and potatoes with some other vegetables in there. The main reason I got these two was because I really was interested in seeing the difference. I tried to get two things that are very similar. So, you know, turkey, potatoes, and dressing style type of meal. Um, I just really wanted to see what the difference was between getting the steamer and getting just a basic microwave plate. So I'm really interested to see how those two are um, in comparison. I will write um, probably over in my blog about my thoughts on it just to kind of get an idea on that because I'm really interested to see how that goes. I also got this flavor. It's barbecue seasoned steak with potatoes, which I'm really excited about. It just looked really good. So something I really just wanted to try out. So we will have those probably for dinner throughout the week. Again, if he's working overnights, those are really quick, easy things for me because I have a bad habit of forgetting to eat meals um, if I don't have a reason to. So when I get home and he's already at work, it's really easy for me to just Get caught up in watching a show or something and not having dinner so i get these just to kind of make it quick and easy for me so that i do have something i'm kind of working backwards here but i did get some stuff for breakfast for myself um, i'm really big on trying to force myself to eat breakfast because again i'm the kind of person that if i don't start eating for the day i honestly may not so these are cereology it's an heb brand um the two that i got these are just healthier op alternatives to regular cereal i guess they're kind of granola blends 
Uh, this one's Fig and Nut Crunch. I also have a Granola Strawberry Matcha Fusion. Fusion. So I'm really excited about that one. So I like the matcha green tea powder and then straw dried out strawberries and some different oats in there. So that's pretty exciting. I'm really excited to try that one. It's got some white chocolate pieces in it. Big, big lover of white chocolate. Um, I also have, like I said, the Fig and Nut one. Really excited to just try these different ones out and see how it goes. So another thing to touch on that I got today I have noticed recently that I'm having an issue with milk. So I'm having a really big issue personally digesting regular dairy. Cameron is lactose intolerant, so he can't have regular dairy. And along with that um, birch pollen allergy that I have, I can't have soy or almonds. So interestingly enough, I can't have regular milk, soy milk, or almond milk. So I'm trying to find something else to fill my um, dairy stuff with. So I bought some oat milk today. Actually says oat beverage, but either way. So I got some oat milk today. The reason I wanted to try this is actually because I follow this young lady on Instagram. Her name is on Instagram. It's Amelia K Yoga, and she was showing a video the other day of where she makes her own oat milk, and she makes it. She did the cost analysis of it, and I think it was like 17 cents a gallon. So that's a really good deal. I wanted to buy it myself first before I tried to make it. Um, just to see if I like the taste of it. And also, if I do like the taste of it, and I do want to make it so I know what it's supposed to taste like. So anyways, so we're going to try this out this week. Um, only like 30 calories per serving of 8 ounces. So just a really good alternative. Just something I really wanted to try out. I will also point out that I've noticed um, it's only the two of us. We don't have any kids. So we have a big problem with expiration dates. So that's why we buy, you know, our fruits and stuff. Not so much in bulk, but just, you know, enough to get us through a certain amount of days. Now with this milk, it's good until April 10th. Today is March the 10th, so we actually are gonna be able to use this for a whole month if we don't use all of it quicker than that, so that's good. The very last thing I wanted to cover with y'all is drinks. Honestly, drinks get me through the month. Um, as far as food goes, you know, having dinner with my mom, us going out to dinner, doing business meeting dinners, whatever. I can have food anywhere, drinks my issue, so I have to keep drinks at home. The first thing I wanted to touch on is these gallons of water. Um, just Texas spring water. Cameron is very, very picky about the water that he drinks. Neither one of us like tap water, so I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys these are the waters that we buy. I only have two of them. Um, those are for two days. I know a lot of social media challenges are going around right now with the gallon challenge. Not a challenge. He literally drinks a gallon of water every day, regardless of the challenge or not. So. Those are something that he drinks. So again, he mixes those meals into it. So it's actually kind of neat that he'll use that and mix the meal in. Um, he doesn't just drink straight out of here, of course. He has like a cup he has set up for that. And then he kind of does his own little mixture. But So we got those for him. Of course, we'll get more water because he drinks one a day. I got these Big Reds. Big Red is absolutely my favorite soda um, above all else. If you've never had it, you definitely need to try it. It is Texas made. So, you know, shout out there. Um, I got these on special. So these six packs, these are 16.9 ounces a piece. I have a really hard time getting any liquid into me, uh, whether it's water, soda, juice. I have a hard time just drinking throughout the day. So it's hard for me to finish off a whole bottle of Big Red or a whole bottle of any soda. So I get these little smaller ones. They come in a six pack. Uh, I think today's special was five of these six packs for like $10 or so with a coupon. So that brings them down to... I think 30 cents a bottle. So actually a really good price there. Just something to keep in mind. Again, those good coupons that we had there. Just wanted to cover those with you. Of course, these big reds are gonna get me through the whole month. This is not, um, definitely not something that I'm planning on drinking, you know, tonight or this week. So keep that in mind when you see this kind of stuff. The next thing I wanted to go over is just our receipts. Trying to kind of go over pricing and what all we got, how we did, and then just kind of things like that. So let me get those receipts out for you. I also just wanted to touch base on one thing that I forgot. Um, again, I have a really hard time getting water into my diet. I have a hard time just drinking liquids in general. So I bought this today. It's the Arizona brand green tea with ginseng and honey. Um, I really like this flavor. I just like the way that my body feels when I drink this kind of stuff. And so, of course, zero calorie. I'm just going to mix that to my water and try to see if I can get a little bit more water into my diet. So something nice to try out. So we'll see how that goes. With my receipts, again, we went to HEB. It's a local grocery store for us. If you don't have an HEB in our buy, find your, you know, your local grocery and see what kind of deals they have. So this is all the items that we got today. 
I believe it came out to a total of 55 items. So we got 55 items today. Our total was 10402. And we saved $17.67. So out of our $100 that we spent, that's almost, you know, roughly 20% savings. So it was a really nice deal there. Uh, we got 99 cents worth of savings of things that were on sale, two dollars and eleven cents worth of things that were because we bought H E B brand rather than name brand, and then fourteen dollars worth of coupon savings. So we got all these big reds and all the free stuff that we got. So fourteen dollars worth of coupon savings. So that's pretty neat there. Um, exciting stuff to see. Some other coupons on the back of the receipt for local uh, local companies, and then I also have some coupons that the H E B prints off for you. So because I bought some of those Lean Cuisine uh, healthy meals, I have another coupon to use next time I go. 50 cents off when I get three of them. And then $3 off probiotics because Cameron got those probiotic yogurts. So these are $3 off the Align brand of probiotics. So this is our grocery haul for today. I will say that we are definitely not done shopping. Of course, this kind of covers our first big haul of the month. Again, our grocery budget is usually about $200 a month. We spent $100 today, so we will, of course, spend more throughout the month. Um, it's just something we kind of play with and kind of see, you know, hey, does it work out for the $200 a month? Do we need to fix that? Just kind of how stuff goes. So just wanted to touch base on what all we spent, what all we got. Uh, the next big haul we're going to do is probably just going to be like supplements and vitamins, uh, medicines, and toiletries, like just household stuff. So we'll pick some of those things up later today and we will cover that with you whenever we get back. Again, just some different things that we like to try. I want to show you guys what all we like. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Um, if you have any ideas for us or any questions or comments, leave them below. That way we can kind of try some other stuff out.